הקדוש ברוך הוא constantly has with him two things. One is the brick of sorrow, of pain. Not his pain. הקדוש ברוך הוא doesn't have pain. The pain of Am Yisrael. The pain that Am Yisrael had and occurred throughout Mitzrayim. הקדוש ברוך הוא carries that feeling, that with him forever and ever. And on the same token, הקדוש ברוך הוא has with him the light of happiness when Am Yisrael came out of Mitzrayim. So that's a great thing. When, when you want to have a real friend, or even without a friend, when a person has children, he always feels the pain of his children, and he always feel, feels the happiness of the children. So usually the happiness is something that you show, and you want to remember forever and ever. That is the secret of taking photography and taking movies at happy times, whether you're at the wedding of your child, or a bar mitzvah, or a brit, or, or, or a birthday, or whatever it is, even just a trip. Whenever your child is happy, you take a picture. You don't take a picture of your child when he's crying, when he's sad, when he's by the dentist screaming. That's not when you take your pictures or your video. That's not something you want to remember. But that feeling of how painful it was while he was screaming at the dentist, or whatever it was, you're still carrying with you. You don't have a picture of it, because you don't want to remember that. But you're still carrying that with you, and that's a token of showing how much you care for that person. Usually, by the children, we can understand that very clearly. When, it, when one's child was in pain, the father or the mother carries that pain with them forever and ever. They feel that pain. As long as they remember what happened, they pain over and over again. And same thing with the happiness. Whenever they remember the wedding of the child, the bar mitzvah, whatever it was, he did so well in the class, and that memory comes to mind, all of a sudden he becomes happy. You know this, um, this uh, famous uh, poem called uh, Footsteps on the Sand. We all know that, right? That, uh, that uh, poem that a person was dreaming, and at the dream he saw two footsteps of two, two shoes. And he understood that one, one is his, and the other one is of HaKadosh Buhu, of God. And he sees that they're walking together, side by side, along all his life. And towards the end of his life, he sees that in his dream, in his imagination, how they walk together. He sees the footsteps of, of himself and of HaKadosh Buhu as well. But he sees something very troubling to him, and that is when he came to times of pain, time of darkness, time, the lowest time that he felt that he can't handle it anymore, things that became extremely hard, all of a sudden he sees only one footstep, one, uh, two, two steps, in other words, a couple of footsteps, and the other one disappeared. And he was very troubled because he understood that it's only his footsteps and not a Kadosh Buhu. And why did he leave him at the time of pain? And the poem goes that he approached HaKadosh Baruch Hu and he said to him, and he, and he asked him for explanation, and the explanation that HaKadosh Baruch Hu told him that he made a mistake. This was only his footsteps and not, and not this was HaKadosh Baruch Hu footsteps and not his footsteps, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu was carrying on his shoulder at that time. And this, I think, what we're learning over here. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is carrying us on his shoulder. He's constantly have us in mind in the time that we ha- we're going through harsh and painful, painful time. And it, the Hidush over here is that even at the time that we are happy, he still carries that pain. That when you have such a father or such a friend, somebody who loves you that much that you constantly know that you can rely, that he feels your feelings, not only when you are healed already from that, even afterwards, not only when you are pained, even afterwards when you are healed, still he carries those, those feelings, how much support he gives us and to go through the harsh times.